What is going on world? What's up YouTube? It's Zero here. Today I'm bringing you guys a brand new episode of The 8 Below Show. Welcome everyone to 8 Below. Thanks for being here guys to the best entertainment related show here on YouTube. And I'm super excited about our episode here today. We have a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's get into it. We've talked a lot in the past about Gears of War, guys, and this franchise moving forward. What we think might happen, there's a lot of speculation. There is the rumblings of, you know, what the future may hold for this franchise. And I want to talk about Gears 6 in particular and what that could all encompass and when we could expect an announcement. So let's talk about it. So guys, all of my Gears 6 content you guys can check out here on the YouTube channel. My prediction, and I've stated this a while back, is that we will be seeing a Gear 6, you know, sooner rather than later. And I, I gotta say, guys, with the reveal of what Microsoft Studios showed to everyone on Twitter was what each studio from Microsoft is working on currently. And Gears of War, I should say, the coalition who work on Gears are currently working on Gear 6, and they're also helping out with the Perfect Dark reboot. And so, I think all hands are on deck when it comes to Gear 6 at this point. Probably the coalition is split somewhat between servicing Gears 5 as well as working on, you know, Gear 6. And then there's probably a small team that's also working on the Perfect Dark reboot. So... With that, we pretty much have official confirmation that Gear 6 is coming. And I don't think that that was really even much of a debate or uh, concern, even though there was certainly some concern from the community after the release of Gears 5 and kind of, you know, just a number of different issues that the game had at launch and such. There was a lot of people that were concerned, but Rod Ferguson, the former studio head over at the Coalition, did state that Gear 6 and Gear 7, as well as a Gears of War movie, are all confirmed. We talked about that on the YouTube channel as well. So all in all, guys, Gear 6 is coming. Now, when is it coming is another question. I believe, guys, we're going to be getting an announcement in 2021. Now, sure, because of the pandemic and everything going on in our world right now, there's a possibility that the, the that Gear 6 could be delayed somewhat because of it, uh, just from people having to work from home and things of that nature. Can all, you know, all those things can add up to having, you know, de delays and such, which at the end of the day, guys, I want the game to be to be made very well, to be made right, take your time with it. Um, and that's what, what my advice for the coalition would be. Just take your time, release it when it is ready to go. So with that, guys, uh, you know, I think an announcement will be coming though in the foreseeable future, I would say in 2021 at some point, since we already basically got confirmation from Microsoft Game Studios as to what each developer is working on, we haven't seen the Perfect Dark reboot, you know, that trailer as of yet, or a, you know, a reveal or something of those sorts. So I would assume something along the lines of a Perfect Dark reboot as well as Gear 6 being, you know, shown off probably at an Xbox game showcase next year. So with that in mind here, guys, what all could Gear 6 kind of include? Compass, and we've talked about this a lot. Lots of people in the community want a Gears of War Battle Royale, and I'm one that would actually like to see that as well. Um, I think it works better with Halo, um, and a lot of people want Halo to have, uh, with Halo Infinite, want there to be a BR there. I think it works better with Halo because of the ODSTs and things of that nature, but I think you could certainly do it with Gears as well. With Gears of War going to the semi-open world scenario, and what could be a full open world scenario, I think there's definitely a uh, uh, pretty much a possibility that we could get something, um, you know, like a battle royale, which I think would be absolutely awesome. And I think it would really just be another way that we can connect to Gears of War in the future, um, you know, and moving forward. You know, the beautiful thing about Gears of War is it's a full package. You got a campaign, you got co op modes, you have all these other modes, like, you know, that you can play co op with, like escape mode, horde mode, and then of course you got the multiplayer, which in my opinion is a very underrated multiplayer, very underrated esport as well. And so, I, you know, obviously, guys, there's those concerns that are around that we may not get an announcement. Um, and I've stated in the past that there's a possibility with the backlash that people are giving the coalition and the, some of the hate that goes towards the coalition for certain uh, decisions that they make, those things could add up to us actually not getting a gear six that could end up, you know, with a, a canceled project essentially. Um, but at the end of the day, 
I think we as a community need to come together. We, and I've, I've stated this in the past, that we need to stop the negativity. We need to voice our opinions, of course, if we want things to be changed within the game. But there's a way that you go about doing that. And it's not through hate of the coalition. Um, I just think that it's amazing that the coalition and Microsoft brought Gears of War back from the grave. Uh, that was, you know, of course, after, you know, Gears of War judgment and such was the dark ages of Gears of War. And so now we're in a much better space. Sure, there's things that need to be fixed. There's things that need to happen moving forward. But I, I really like where we are as far as the gear scene is concerned outside of, the, you know, some of the community backlash. So that all being said, guys, Gear 6, will we see an announcement soon? I don't believe we're going to see it here in 2020, but I do believe we'll see it in 2021 at one of the Xbox game showcases, even though if it's like a sneak peek, um, just kind of a quick snippet of, of Gear 6. And I would say that we're going to get Gear 6 probably in 2022 or 2023 because next year, guys, 2021 is going to be the year of Halo. So I would assume that Gear 6 is going to be 2022 most likely. I mean, if it gets delayed further, maybe 2023. But with that, guys, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comment section down below. Are we going to be seeing an announcement soon, like in 2021 for Gear 6? Let me know and let's have a real conversation about it. And for more Gear 6 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV. Another game I'm super excited to see a continuation of is Mafia. And guys, we have up to this point had, you know, with the definitive editions, it's absolutely awesome that those are something that can kind of quench our thirst you know, for coming back to this franchise and this IP that uh, many of us really do appreciate and one that we want to see a continuation of. But what I want to talk about, guys, is Mafia 4 in particular. This is another game that it's a, it, not quite like Gears of War where we kind of have those like official confirmation confirmations and such. Mafia is a little bit more, you know, there's a lot more secrecy here as to whether or not there is even going to be a continuation. But we have had some reveal some leaks that have come out. We've also, of course, had the rumblings and the talk speculation that Mafia 4 is being worked on at this point in time over at Hangar 13. So we're going to be talking about both sides of the spectrum, when we could expect Mafia 4 to be released and, you know, what the setting could be and things of that nature. So let's get into it. So guys, I've talked about Mafia 4 a lot here on the YouTube channel. You guys can check it out uh, all here on my channel. And what I will say is this, guys. We've talked about the things that we want in Mafia 4. We've talked about the things that we know at this point in time, which is pretty limited. Now, we get kind of conflicting, you know, things and news that's come out of Hangar 13. One spectrum states that Mafia 4 is being worked on behind the scenes from leaks, but then on the other side, Hangar 13 is stating they're working on something else, but they would be interested in working on Mafia 4 at some point or another. Now, what could that that next thing up and coming be that Hangar 13 is working on? It very well could be another Mafia game that they're just not revealing at this point. Could it be Mafia Online, which we've talked about as well? One of the big things uh, that needs to happen, in my personal opinion, with Mafia that's kept it kind of underneath games like Grand Theft Auto is that there's not as many ways to connect with the Mafia universe as there is with GTA. For example, GTA Online, guys, is absolutely massive and people absolutely love it. It's a way that you can continue coming to the game after beating the campaign and things of that nature. Mafia needs to have something like this where you're able to go to a living, breathing place and being able to uh, do different things within that world because it's different from GTA, right? We're going into a period, you know, set time. And with GTA, it's more modern day, whereas this is more in the past. And I think a Mafia Online would be pretty much exactly what the doctor ordered, at least for the community uh, and for our perspective. Now, sure, anytime you get into anything like that, like a multiplayer, something that Hangar 13 has not done in the past with Mafia, sure, you're going to be taking some risks. It might not be perfect from the very beginning, but the idea is that you have something to build off of. So could the next thing Hangar 13 is working on is a Mafia Online? That's a possibility as well. There's a possibility, of course, that they're working on a completely new IP that we have no idea about at this point in time. But for me, guys, I do believe that Hangar 13 is working on Mafia in one way uh, or, uh, or capacity or another. So 
I believe Hangar 13 is definitely as a team that is working on Mafia 4. There's a reason why we've had leaks and, you know, there's talk about a setting being set in Vegas, guys, for uh, this upcoming title. I do believe that they are working on a, a Mafia game set in Vegas. Now, could they be working, have a separate team that's working on Mafia Online? Absolutely. Uh, maybe they are working on another IP as well. There's no telling how big of a team, you know, Hangar 13 really is. Would they be able to work on multiple projects at once? It's hard to say. But I do think, guys, that Mafia is definitely their strongest IP at this point. And I believe that what they really need to do is hone in on making, of course, the story really great, making their tons of content that we can, like, absorb. Because that's been the problem up to this point in the Mafia games. Great stories. Absolutely so solid, so good. But after you're done beating the game and doing all the side stories and such, you might be try to go back through and beat the game a second time. But at the end of the day, after beating it a couple times, you're going to move on to other games. Mafia Online and co-op modes and things of that nature would certainly bring you back to the experience over time. And that's why I put so much emphasis on that. Now, when could we see a Mafia 4? Well, we haven't gotten official confirmation as of yet, guys, from Hangar 13 of the existence of Mafia 4. They certainly are talking about doing it. The Definitive Editions came out, and I, I've, I've spoken on a previous Eight Below show that, you know, the Definitive Editions very well could be, you know, setting up Mafia 4. It's kind of, I guess you could say it's quenching our thirst, but at the same time, it's also giving Hangar, Hangar 13 an opportunity to see how big of a community does Mafia still have and how many people are coming into that universe and trying out the game and such to see what they could really do with a Mafia 4. And Definitive Edition, guys, absolutely great what they've accomplished here from just a, you know, from story to graphically absolutely incredible. I think it's I think it's great. And so I'm very excited to see what they decide to do moving forward here. When could we get an announcement for this? Well guys, I think the earliest we will see a you know an official you know trailer or a confirmation at least of the existence of Mafia 4 would be in probably uh mid to late 2021. And I'm not sure depending on what all it encompasses uh, that being like, does it have story as well as multiplayer? Is it just a story? You know, there's a lot of question marks there. So I would say that if you're talking 2021 at some point, it'll probably come out in 2022 unless there's a lot more to the game than, you know, than what we've had in the past. That's my hope, at least, guys. I really, really hope that we get a Mafia game that's a full package, even if it takes another number of years. Something that we get full campaign, multiplayer, and co-op modes. Um, I think that would be absolutely incredible. That would put us on that tier, even though it might not be necessarily the exact same as, as Grand Theft Auto. I've stayed in the past. I like Mafia more than Grand Theft Auto. But Mafia, uh, Grand Theft Auto has done a much better job as far as from a marketing perspective, but also from just bringing people back to the game over time. Uh, it's just, it, there, there's no comparison there uh, between the two of them. So ultimately, guys, if Hangar 13 truthfully is not working on Mafia 4 at this point, they're working on a different game, I would assume that they're going to show us what their next game that they're working on, regardless whether it's Mafia or something else, they're going to show us next year. They're going to show us in 2021 at some point. And most likely, if, it, if it's a completely new IP that they're working on, I would assume we'll see that probably in maybe late 2021 or 2022. And then from there, after that game is, you know, solidified and brought out and such, then we can start talking again about Mafia 4. But uh, fingers crossed, guys, that Mafia 4 is the next game uh, that comes out from Hangar 13 or at least a Mafia Online that we can go to and we can at least, that'll be another way to quench your thirst while you're waiting for the next story to come out of Mafia and Hangar 13. But I really want to hear from you guys. What do you think the timeline is here for Mafia 4 to come out and for us to get our hands on the game? Let me know in the comment section down below. And for more Mafia 4 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV. We've talked a lot on the YouTube channel about Titanfall 
and this franchise that we want to see continued in the form of Titanfall 3. Nothing to take away from Apex Legends and all that Respawn is doing to try to support this universe in one way, shape, or form. But Titanfall 3 is something that we all want uh, in, in one capacity or another. Uh, you know, I, I can speak for myself, and I know a lot of you out there will agree that, sure, Apex is great. It's, it's really nice to have something that's within the Titanfall universe that is really big. There's something that people absolutely love love, but it doesn't necessarily uh, quench that thirst for really what Titanfall was all about. And uh, sure, there's definitely those similarities. It's within the same universe, that being Apex, but people really want another Titanfall game. And I think it would be great to at least solidify the trilogy of Titanfall. I think that Titanfall really suffered from marketing against other big Titans within the, you know, within the space, no pun intended, that being like Call of Duty and Battlefield. When Titanfall comes out, guys, I mean, it's competing against these huge juggernauts in the same month when it was re released. And that was just, a, uh, you know, on, that's all on, you know, Vince Ampella and those guys trying to state that this is the next FPS that's going to take over Call of Duty and, and Battlefield. And that was a terrible move, which really hurt Titanfall's sales. So, Ultimately, guys, that stuff out of the way. We've got some new things and new things that have been developed here regarding Titanfall 3. There's some good news and there's some bad news, so let's get into it. So in an article, guys, written by Julian Young of Dexterto, in the face of several recent leaks claiming that a new entry in the Titanfall series is in development, Apex Legends game director Chad Grenier has confirmed Titanfall 3 is not being worked on. So, uh, that's the first thing that's really unfortunate, guys. Um, what I will say is this. We are, as a community, making our voice heard, though, because many of us are stating, like, we want this game. And sure, they're denying Titanfall 3, and they can continue denying it, but the more people that are you know, telling the Respawn that we want Titanfall 3, uh, at some point or another, they're going to see this incredibly large community of people stating they want another game. And so, sure, they're going to have a team that works on Apex Legends and continue that, make no mistake about it, but they could certainly split that team up to start working on Titanfall 3 as well. So over the last several months, data miners have been hard at work uncovering Apex Legends secrets ahead of the highly anticipated Season 7 release, including information related Aided uh, to the new seasons, vehicles, weapon attachments, and the new Olympus map and Horizon Legend. In addition to the details surrounding the new content, several leakers reported evidence that Respawn developers were also actively working on the next title in the Titanfall series. Speaking to an interview ahead of Season 7's launch, Chad Grenier, game director of the studio's hit Battle Royale, refuted these claims and said that Respawn has no new Titanfall games in the works. So, it's very interesting, guys. Either Respawn is trying to lead us astray. Why they would do that, I'm not sure. They're act Maybe they're actually working on Titanfall 3, but they don't want to kind of give that away yet. They want to keep that as secret as possible. So you could take that or... Uh, basically, these leaks just are, are false at this point, and they're not working on Titanfall, and they're just continuing to serve as Apex Legends, and, you know, maybe they have no plans for Titanfall 3 yet. So, it's hard to say. Um, in, an, in, an, in the interview with Eurogamer, Grenier spoke at length about the new features and systems coming to Apex Legends with the release of Season 7. Grenier specifically outlined the transition of Olympus from a Titanfall 3 concept to the third map being released for the BR. However, when asked about the studio's plans for a new entry in the Titanfall series, the game director, game director openly stated nobody is currently working on Titanfall 3. He also spoke about the more distant future of the Battle Royale title, confirming that Respawn is working on content for five more seasons after the release of Season 7 and has plans for additional content beyond that. So, can Apex Legends uh, fill the void? Grinier's confirmation that Titanfall 3 is not in active development pours cold water on leaks and rumors that it was in the works. However, in the same interview, Grinier mentioned that Respawn has plans to make Apex Legends more than just a battle royale, and the fans of Titanfall will be very ex excited about what is to come. Apex is in the Titanfall universe, so we're always bringing things from Titanfall into Apex, he said, highlighting Ash in the Season 5 quest, so we get to bring a lot of the stuff that we enjoy in Titanfall into Apex, looking at future seasons, the animated shorts, and things that are coming out next year, I think any Titanfall fan is going to be super excited. 
And while the Titanfall series is considered a classic FPS and maintains a dedicated core player base, with a recent Steam release providing a huge influx of new pilots as well, Respawn has remained tight-lipped on their plans for the franchise since the initial release of Apex Legends. Now look, here's the thing, is if you look at a silver lining here, sure, they're bringing stuff from the Titanfall universe more and more into Apex Legends, and that's true, but here's the thing. For those of us who aren't huge fans of, of Battle Royale, I'm one of those people. I think I respect that space in a, in a drastic way. I, I love what BR has brought to gaming. I mean, without a doubt. It's just not necessarily a game mode that I'm like a huge fan of personally. I like watching other people play it. I'm not one that really enjoys playing it myself. Um, I'm more into the the fast paced gunfight of like, you know, Call of Duty, uh, you know, Titanfall, um, you know, you could even say Battlefield somewhat, even though those are, those are really large maps at times as well, but more like smaller maps where there's quicker, you know, movement and like, you know, um, you're able to, you know, kind of rack up kills in a drastic way. Um, and you know, you have different perks and things of that nature. Whereas Apex, sure, you've got some pretty neat things in there, but simply Similar to, you know, you know, Call of Duty Warzone or Fortnite and all these other BRs, you know, it's different. You know, you got one life and then it's and then it's all over and you got to start all over again. Sure, you've got ways that you can get, you know, you can kind of come back into the, the playing field, you know, uh, like in, you know, Call of Duty Warzone and, um, you know, of course, even Apex as well being revived and such. But ultimately, guys, I think that to me, we are definitely making our voices heard about Titanfall 3. We won a Titanfall 3, and I there's absolutely no debate that Respawn, they keep on having to say, no, we're not working on Titanfall 3. Why is that? Well, the reason why they're coming out and saying that is because a lot of people are hoping to see a Titanfall 3, and I think it could be absolutely huge. I've stated this many times, guys, that if they were to make a Titanfall 3, Titanfall 3 could help promote Apex Legends, and Apex Legends could help promote Titanfall 3, which at the end of the day could make it, I mean, even bigger and bigger. Think of Call of Duty Warzone and how it's promoting Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. And so these BRs are great marketing tools where you don't even have to, you know, pay necessarily to promote the next game that they're working on. Now, sure, maybe they'll use Apex Legends to promote their next Star Wars game or to promote something else, but Titanfall 3 makes total sense because it's within the same universe. I just think, guys, it makes total sense to make a Titanfall 3. Maybe they're concerned it's going to split up the player base, but look at Call of Duty and what Activision's doing there. They just have, you know, the each Call of Duty that comes out, Warzone is now going to be the BR that continues into each Call of Duty moving forward. They update things, weapons, and things of that nature to closely resemble the newest game that's come out. And so, why not do that with Apex? Create Titanfall 3, bring things from Titanfall 3 into Apex Legends, and then you're just building upon the universe, the lore, the story that is this franchise as a whole. But at the end of the day, guys, I would love, love to hear from all of you. Do you think we're going to be getting a Titanfall 3 at some point in the future? Do you think that Respawn is trying to lead us astray from the truth that they actually are working on a Titanfall 3 and that these leaks are actually, you know, true? Or do you think it's all false and that they, we won't be seeing a Titanfall 3 for quite some time? Let me know. And for more Titanfall 3 content and videos, stay here with Zero TV. Mortal Kombat is by far and away my favorite fighting game, guys. I absolutely love Mortal Kombat, and you know, uh, you know, I didn't really enjoy it that much until I actually like started to really dive into not only the esports scene but also started playing it myself. I of course have played Smash and other games, you know prior to beginning, you know, my journey with, with Mortal Kombat. And I really started with Mortal Kombat 11, the most recent of the Mortal Kombat games. I've gone back and tried some of the other ones, but man, do I love Mortal Kombat 11. I absolutely love it, guys. Um, just the learning curve is something that's really special to me. And so ever since, you know, really getting my hands on it and playing it quite a bit, uh, still not that great at the game, but after playing it for quite some time, uh, I've been talking about on the YouTube channel about Mortal Kombat 12 and how could NetherRealm Studios, you know, 
surpass what they were able to do, in my personal opinion, is something spectacular in Mortal Kombat 11. So let's talk about it. So first of all, guys, I don't know if you can top what NetherRealm Studios did in Mortal Kombat 11. I'm, I know, guys, from listening to what the community has stated about Mortal Kombat 11, sure, there's things that you can improve upon and such, which that's how it is with any game, right? But I just think how well done and well constructed Mortal Kombat 11 is, um, it I, it's just going to be really tough in my opinion. And so I think it might be a number of years until we see a Mortal Kombat 12 at this point. But ways that I think that they certainly could, and we'll get to, you know, kind of the topic here being when we might see Mortal Kombat 12 release and when we might see our first trailer and things of that nature. But what I got to say, guys, is I think that, you know, having more of an emphasis, even though the one, 1v1 one one is great, I think having an emphasis on co-op, um, even in the multiplayer elements, I think that would be great. Having differences within the story and such, kind of switching between, you know, having it where, uh, you know, where there's some change to not necessarily the story, but the way in which we experience it. Having that open world kind of scenario could be something really interesting between fights, between each of, of the characters and such. And I know that's what's really built this Mortal Kombat lore and such, but I'm thinking of something similar to like when you think of a game like God of War and how they changed how we experience the story. I think that could be something really special here with Mortal Kombat. Keep it the same from the perspective of multi player, of course, but maybe changing it a little bit could be something really interesting. More ways that you can explore and things of that nature could be something really cool too. Now, that all being said, guys, there's certainly ways in which that they could, you know, improve upon, whether you want to talk about the story, um, even the multiplayer experiences, but overall, guys, outside of adding new characters, adding new combos, new executions, and things of that nature, which they certainly probably would do with Mortal Kombat 12, I think that they just need to really continue improving Mortal Kombat 11 at this point. So, what does that tell us for the future of Mortal Kombat? Even though I want to see a Mortal Kombat 12, there's no debate. I definitely want to see the continuation of it. I just think that NetherRealm needs to really take their time with it. And who knows if Mortal Kombat 12 is the next game that NetherRealm is working on, you know, in a major capacity. So, what does that, where does that leave us? I would say, guys, we're looking at a Mortal Kombat 12 most likely in 2022, maybe 2023, or even maybe beyond that. The pandemic and such, guys, that we're experiencing in our world very well may have kind of pushed things a little bit even further out for some of these studios and these developers. And so we're probably looking at Mortal Kombat 12 releasing in 2022, 2023, or maybe even beyond that. But that would be my prediction on it. I would say that if it comes out in 2023, you're probably going to see the, the first trailer or the first like sneak peek of it maybe in uh 2022 if it comes out in 2022 maybe you'll see it late 2021 but i just think there's a lot more still to be done with mortal kombat 11 to continue you know with balancing and things of that nature to really make this such a great experience and i gotta say guys I think that we are definitely going to see a Mortal Kombat 12 because a lot of people have been wondering if there's going to be a continuation anytime soon for this franchise, and I definitely think there will be. I just don't think that it's necessary that they need to rush it right now. Uh, I think they got a very good game on their hands, and it just needs to continue to be refined and perfected ultimately um, to a really, you know, good to really put it into a really good place from an esports perspective to just casual gamer perspective, right? Um, I think it's absolutely great. I, I really do. I think it's just a fantastic game, and I definitely do want to see the continuation though of this franchise moving forward, but I don't think we can expect it really anytime soon as of yet. Now, sure, they could be working on it right now and we just don't know it, um, but going based on the past and what they've done as far as with the Mortal Kombat games in the past, and sure, they've got other IPs that they might be working on as well, so we'll just have to kind of keep our eyes out for any you know new information that comes out and I'll be sure to keep you guys all up to speed as to when more information comes out so definitely just stay tuned to the channel for you know anything that might come out regarding Mortal Kombat 12 but with that guys let me know in the comment section down below what do you think needs to be changed from Mortal Kombat 11 to Mortal Kombat 12 what would you like to see let me know in the comment section down below and for more Mortal Kombat 12 content and videos stay here with Zero TV
And with that being said, everyone, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of The 8 Below Show. And if you guys did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, stay positive, and as always, I'll talk to you guys all in the next one. Peace.